but I really do like it here. Yeah, I think it is a good way to round out the team. You can just look for the late game, which Janair often does. Now, Spenu, they are looking for an explosive win in game one with this composition. Can they finally get the win they've been looking for all summer season? Let's find out as we kick off game number one. Take it away. I mean, Trace still really only played two champions this season. Going back to that Maokai again. Oh, oh and there's a flash and the ultimate coming from Kuzan. What a combo with the mid laner by Janair Green Wings. Good communication between Kuzan and Chaser right there. It's the creep. And now... Well, I mean, catch oh. is really low, so Kuzan can just come in. There's the hook, so catch has to run away <laughs> right into Chaser. Oh, man, the depth charge <laughs> picks up the kill. Kuzan gets double buffs, too. Wow. Pushing in, he's going to freeze you up with Ring of Frost and go forward from there. Che gets caught as catch shows up in the bottom lane. Now, Glacial Prison is available. There's the play and the Glacial Prison. There's the Super Mega Death Rocket. Can they get the kill onto Captain Jack? Not going to be enough. Can't walk up because he's so scared constantly of that lane gank coming in. Right. Oh, and there's the flash of the Depth Charge and the Lissandra Ultimate. Sasin just gets locked up, cannot move. They're and still going here with the Sivirol. Yeah, I mean, on the coming in, but only Captain Jack getting that move speed. Here we go, everyone else speedily running through in the last second of it. There's the box. Che, can he get the hook? He has the angle, and he's not going to hit Vivid Vivid. Narrowly dodges that one, but Nuclear left all alone. Chaser just trying to deny that latch, and yeah, Nuclear doesn't have an answer for that one. Meanwhile, Vivid got caught because of that. Who's on cha tra charging forward? Excuse me, Glacial Prison and Flay, though, he got a little too Oops. eager at the Lantern Shield and the Tower Shield, helping Vivid stay alive. Yeah, nice return kill right there. Grace is tanking it a little bit. Here comes the teleport from So, and the equalizer's up every skill available. Meanwhile, Kuzan actually gets caught first. Vivid with the lantern, but he actually brings Soul in, and Soul just gets caught with the Ring of Frost. Meanwhile, catch all the way up front. There's the glacial path, doesn't go over the wall, but there is still the Zonias coming in. Chaser is going to be able to run out. Nuclear gets the reset, though, and he gets the second crit onto Captain Jack. He's just charging forward, and the chain is going to get the snare onto Che. Nuclear going for the third one. Sasin picks that one up, and what a turnaround by Spenu Sonic Boom. Yeah, they got the equalizer into that choke on the side, and Trace just used Glory. Yeah, he's not catching up just yet. He has his flash, but how, do, how much does he want to commit to this? We just saw the flash come out from Soul. So trying to run away with the shield, it might be just enough, but Chaser comes up for the catch, and the tier one is gone here. So Dragon already taken for Spenu, and that's a three-man gang. Yeah, they're fully committed to this one. They should be able to get it one way or another. Now, how does Spenu react to this one? Three members gone, the entire front line. There won't be too far behind. We also just see that pickaxe coming in for Captain Jack at the moment. It's a good investment. Oh, wow, they're targeting Soul once again. They know the flash is down. There's the Righteous Glory. There's the Slow. And Soul just doesn't have an answer to this. Equalizer goes down again, but you know you're not picking those kills up. Are you going to lose the Baron, though? Yeah, well, he's just trying to draw it enough time. There's a Void Rush coming in from Chaser. Trace finally gets the kill, and it looks like the Baron does have to That's be stopped. That's so risky. Uh, trying to clear out some wards right now, Jinair. They should want to fight this. Yeah, well, I mean, Spenu also kind of had to go for it. Generic Green Wings, can they go in for the steal and the fight? And Catch really wants to secure this dragon at this point. I mean, both teams have to commit to this dragon. Who's going to get the smite battle first? And it's going to be Nuclear with the kill on that one. And they lock up Kuzan. Kuzan has to use his ult on himself. Vivid flashes out. Catch all the way up front gets targeted. Oh, and the Super Mega Death Rocket. He timed it, but the Zonius comes in. So Nuclear doesn't get a reset. He's getting targeted by Trace. He'll still be able to get that kill and escape as Sasan helps him with that one. Shut down gold on Trace because of the way teleport. Hanging out with the team, and Sasin gonna catch Che out just a little bit. There's a hook, and he still gets snared. There's a hook coming in from Vivid. Oh, he actually jumps in. There's the play, but Captain Jack right there, and there's a Glacial Prison onto Kuzan. Kuzan gonna get caught, but he uses an old ultimate right now. Nuclear in the back. Sasin just in the back all the way, trying to run away. Nuclear gets caught. Eventually goes down to Trace. There's no peel for him at that point, and Sasin also gonna get caught. No, he's gonna double distortion away. On to Sasin, but that means the smite has been used. So Spenu was already hitting that dragon, but there we go. Nuclear all the way in the back and Trace zoning out three members once again. Catch has to arch the assault over the wall. And there's a hook onto the trap, but there's the flash forward from Kuzan. He zones out three members. QSS used by Nuclear to escape there. Ring of Frost and Kuzan with the zonus to deny that damage. There's a flash from Soul. There's the hook coming in from Vivid just to keep his teammates alive, but Soul will be cut off. Can they catch any more members? Zap not gonna connect. Oh, the lantern! It does save him. I thought that last boomer might be coming in and catch. 
Can he get away? Chaser putting down some good slows onto this one. And there's the hook onto Cash. The Equalizer back already, but not going to be the answer. Meanwhile, Sasin got caught looking for another sneaky angle from the side. But he can't find it before Trace gets to him. And he's just trying to store back oh! up. Whoa! What a kill from Sasin. Nope. He does eventually get caught, though. Uh, burns the ignite onto Che. Catch is dead, so they should be able to secure this dragon unless there's some sort of flounder. Yeah, well, Rek'Sai deciding, hey, I still don't need to go just yet. I have faith in my team. There we go. Spen is really chunking down this bear, and it's a third way there through. There is a Void Rush coming in, and the box comes in, but there's a depth charge onto so the Equalizer not doing too much, but it does lock up Trace. There's a Glacial Prison, but an instant double kill coming in for Kuzan as Nuclear is left to fend for himself in enemy territory. Everybody's been doing this against Spedu Sonic Boom. <laughs> Just you put him in the crucible, oh, you see man. if they can actually survive it, and now Chaser just returning. What a great game from Chaser, though, overall, because he's the one who's been forcing all these decisions. He's the one who's been ganking Soul and making them panic without taking objectives cross map. And he's the one who's been split pushing down to the last second right there, getting the inhibitor turret. He's also the one that has 100% yeah. kill contribution in this game. 19 kills, and he's been part of every single one. Fantastic jungle performance. Really well done, and the generic green wings now will be pushing in for the win against the Nexus turrets at 45 minutes. Jack a little bit hungry for more action, but the generic green wings start the match with a win in the first game. And I really feel bad for Spenu Sonic Boom because they are better than their record suggests. And they've had such a hard schedule to start this yeah. season that I'm very curious when we see them play teams like I Am and Anarchy, how they're going to do because they show such great control in the early and mid game. Their vision is good. It's just.